this video, I will address the role of theory in quantitative research. I will identify the role of theory in quantitative research and provide a working definition. I will then discuss how to locate and apply theory in the capstone study. The critical relationship between theory, measurement, and research question will be addressed using transformational leadership theory as an example. I will conclude by reiterating key points and providing a summary of the tutorial. Let's begin the tutorial on the role of theory in quantitative research. Theory can be defined in many ways. However, one common definition is that theory is an interrelated set of constructs, variables, hypotheses, or even propositions that offer an explanation for the problem. More so, theory offers a systematic view of the problem. Or in other words, theory provides a lens through which the problem can be viewed. Let's assume the problem or the phenomena is that of job satisfaction. It stands to reason there are a plethora of explanations that can be offered for employee job satisfaction. As the researcher, you have the choice of lens through which to view the problem. For example, you might hypothesize or rationalize based on the literature that transformational leadership characteristics offer a systematic view for job satisfaction. Specifically, you hypothesize or rationalize that a leader's transformational leadership characteristics influence or are related to job satisfaction. As such, your study would be grounded in transformational leadership theory. Or perhaps you hypothesize or rationalize that servant leadership characteristics offer a systematic view for job satisfaction. Specifically, you hypothesize or rationalize that a leader's servant leadership characteristics influence or are related to employee job satisfaction. In this case, your study would be grounded in servant leadership theory. It stands to reason that a number of lens or theories through which a problem or phenomenon can be viewed is limitless. Only your imagination stands between you and selecting the theory. Applicable theories can be found in seminal text or peer-reviewed literature. For example, Bandura's self-efficacy theory was introduced in his text titled Self-Efficacy, the Exercise of Control. Likewise, the theory of multiple intelligences was introduced by Dr. Howard Gardner in his seminal text titled Frames of Mind, the Theory of Multiple Intelligences. You would also be able to locate peer-reviewed literature addressing these theories. This slide depicts the job demands, job resources theory located in a peer-reviewed journal. Again, peer-reviewed journals are excellent sources for identifying theories. Perhaps one of the most misunderstood aspects of theory is how to apply it in your capstone study. First, I will present a brief depiction of the theoretical constructs underlying the transformational leadership theory, and then formulate a viable research question, and then discuss the data collection process, specifically how the instrument aligns with the theory. For example, a study grounded in transformational leadership must measure or assess the constructs underlying that theory. The broad constructs of transformational leadership theory are idealized attributes, idealized behaviors, inspirational motivation, stimulation, and individualized consideration. Therefore, 
it is critically important that an instrument such as the multifaceted leadership questionnaire is to be used to measure the underlying constructs of transformational leadership. Any other instrument not proven to assess transformational leadership cannot, and I repeat, cannot be used in a study grounded in transformational leadership. If so, you are not testing the theory and the study does not have construct validity. That is, you are not measuring what you are purporting to measure. For example, the servant leadership questionnaire cannot be used in a study grounded in transformational leadership theory as it measures constructs underlying servant leadership theory. Finally, an appropriate research question might be as follows. What is the relationship between transformational leadership characteristics and employee job satisfaction? As you can see, the theory is embedded in the research question. Let's reiterate some key takeaways for the research process. First, Theories can be identified in seminal text or peer-reviewed journals. Be sure you understand the variables or constructs posited by the theory and select those variables and constructs for use as the independent or predictive variables in your study. Then you must locate the appropriate measurement tool or instrument, one that measures the variables or constructs posited by the theory. In this brief tutorial, I have identified the role of theory in quantitative research and provided a working definition of theory. I then discussed how to find theory and then the application of theory in a capstone study. An example was presented using transformational leadership theory. Finally, I concluded by reiterating key points and providing a summary of the tutorial. The Center for Research Quality team hope that you find this tutorial very useful and a significant aid in navigating successfully through the capstone study process. Please be on the lookout for additional training tutorials from the Center for Research Quality team. Thank you for your time to review this tutorial and best wishes moving forward.